fell two though. He fell two though. Cancel so weird on him, man. But basically, when it comes to doing Mardok's Valtudo stance, the aim of it is to co-sign a button. I mean, you could do you could do it from pressing like this, but you have to input twice. You have to just get used to doing that very quickly. I'll be honest; it might be better to do it on the top button because these buttons are trash. Because these buttons feel like they fall off when you press it, so it's a bit annoying. So you have to do something like. It's so it's so difficult to do oh, when I do it on the buttons that I have. I don't want to do that. Yeah, it's annoying, man. I can't I can't play it up like that. To, let me try and do it this way. Not that. Yeah, there we go. You say you need to stick try stick with turbo button. I don't I don't play stick though, so it doesn't I don't think that would apply to me. It's really annoying to do. I'm bad. And you know what's annoying about it the most yeah is that I think if I done it like this, let me try it on let me try it on the top button. I think the top button might be a bit more easier for me. I'm gonna change it around. I'm gonna put this one to that. Whoa 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 whoa, whoa. we don't wanna do that. Nah, that feels weird now. Cause I'm used to like my top button being one two. Yeah, it's easier. It's easier. It's easier. It's easier. It's definitely easier on the top button though. Yeah, it's easier. Way easier. Way easier. So maybe that's that's a good thing for you lot to kind of know. If you lot are playing on pad, this one is harder than doing it on this one. This one's a lot more easier. And a lot more responsive than this one. I did like I've only tried that out now, but it's a lot more responsive. It's it's weird. But I think it's because it, on the pad it's quicker, isn't it? You just do it like that. But here it's good to flick it off, baby. Let me try one more time with my, with my normal commands. Why can't you hold? What you what are you holding? I can't do it. Yeah, it's harder, man. So you can do it that way if you want. But yeah, that's the that's the aim of it. If you lot was wondering how do you do Valtudo stance and the council and stuff, that's the best way to do it is by assigning it to a shoulder button. Pressing it like pressing it like this. Sometimes you might mess up the buttons. Like you might press another button like that, and that might come out. So I always assign it to a button like that. From Valtudo stance, like I'm carrying this on from Monarch's Guide because obviously Monarch's Guide I didn't really talk about much about uh, Monarch's Valtudo stuff. Mar Monarch's Valtudo stuff is pretty good because it evades jabs, and I'll show you what I mean by that. Okay, I'm gonna set him to Valtudo, but it doesn't evade mids. Yeah. In Tekken 7, he can't block in Valtudo. Tag 2, tag, Tekken Tag 2, he was able to was able to block in Valtudo's stance. I don't know why they changed that because there's a lot of characters that can block in, in stance, which I, just doesn't make any sense to why he can't block in that, but he can't block in stance. And this is this is like a lot of uh, people that used to play Monarch noticed that straight away that you can't block in the starts. So, again, he seems a bit of like a 50 50 risk character, maybe, I would say. Um, also, as well, he's got 
From Valtteri Sassi got Wild Standing 3, <coughs> which is a launcher. Into the combo deck, whatever you want to do. And then he has Wild, Wild Standing 2, Wild Standing 4, and then he has Wild Standing 1, 2. And he has from this from this starts you can do full full crouch down forward uh, full crouch down forward four, and he's got tackle. That's what everyone goes for. Everyone goes for tackle. So we're gonna take off throw escape as well, and we're gonna take off player rage. Now. The thing you can do now, that I'm going to tell you about, is why his why he's Valtudo stuff is very useful. A lot of his stuff that he does in Valtudo equal to stun in counter here. Yeah. What's the other one he has? He has this one. Yeah. He doesn't have anything from this. No, he doesn't have anything from. Yeah, it's only that. A normal hit versus crouch. And then... Yes, the other... Oh, and then this. He has this as well from that. So, but if you block this, you get launched. So it's up to you. It's your decision on what you want to do. But... From this... I do this, bam, 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 low damage. That's what I do, yeah? From this, I, I usually go for the down grab, the down back to plus four grab all the time. You could go for the, the um, down back one plus four grab as well. It depends on what type of combo you have for it. I don't know why I can't seem to get that. There we go. I go for that one. Into whatever else. But, so this is why the reason why this is good. See, I can't do that combo. I saw that combo on Twitter. But I can't do that combo. So if someone said to me, yeah, Jake, can you do that combo? No, I can't. That combo seems hard. I don't know how he done it to be honest. So basically, you're meant to throw them up in the air and do the down forward, uh, full crouch down forward two. But I, I don't do that combo. You could do the down full crouch down forward two out of uh, Val Tudor instant. So that's how you're meant to do it. If you time the full crouch up forward plus two as they land on the ground, you get 40 damage. You get, okay. Let me try them. Oh, he's not staying up. I might, if I can't do it this time, I'm gonna get him to stay on the floor. Alright, so you get 47. I mean, you can do that. Like, obviously, again, 50-50, right? It's exactly the same thing that I'm saying. Like, <coughs> you could do that and then get your 47 damage. Or you could do that and get your 40 damage. What if you drop the combo? Tournament nerfs, you know? Do that and you get 40 damage. But again, it's entirely up to you what you want to do. You could do you could do either or or. It's 50-50, you know? Or you could just stamp on them if you really want to. I get 18 damage, but then you want the max damage, right? So it's entirely up to you. But again, like I say, this move is pretty good. Again, it's safe mid. Get a combo. So I tied up to you what you want to do. Or you could go for this the knee. I don't think the knee is safe. That's pretty cool as well. Or you could just go for Val Tudor starts it to that, which is pretty cool. You could do Val Tudor starts it to full crash down 4-2, which is pretty cool. <coughs> or 
Or you could do it normally like that, but this move is pretty good. No one seems to use it though as much, but it's it's there. Or you can do the Valtudo punch, which is this. It's a three plus four into uh, that four two. This move does wall bounce. I don't know if it's worth the risk because it's minus 14. This move here is minus 14. The only reason why it, it might be good is if people think you're in Valtudo so that they try to do a move and then you go bam. If you're, this is, has to be a hard read though. And again, it's a hard read that I wouldn't want to take because it's minus 14. You know, I wouldn't want to take that. So yeah, that's about it. And also as well, if you want to do... Well, you could transition from Valtudo into one. By just pressing three plus four after you do it. So like three once you do Valtudo one, do three plus four, and then do it again. So you could do it so like about three times until once you could just look, look how quick that is. Once you get a timing down, you could do it quick. You gotta be quick at it doing it. I'm it's quite hard. You know when every time I do it, yeah, I always think I'm cancelling. It's so annoying. Look how quick that is. You could do that, or you could do that into bam bam. It's entirely up to you. This is why the this is really good. If you if you do this in if you do this a lot in neutral, people will think, ah, oh, he's just doing mid. But really, truly, you could trick them into thinking you're going to do this. Or you could trick them into even doing that into, oh, you're going to do a low. And then that. That tricks people a lot. Like, that really tricks people. So, again, it's entirely up to you lot what you lot want to do. Oh, one more thing that i got to say in Valtudo Stars is that he has... He can't move back or forward. As you can see, look, I press it forward, I press it back. He can't move back or forward. But what he can do is he can move to the side like this. He can, he can just press up. He can press down or up. And he moves to the side. Kind of creepy. But he can do that. And he could also fake the tackle as well. So if you think that someone's going to press a button from here. And you want to do a tackle from there. You could press up after you press this. So... Hold on, let me try it again. Maybe I'm not pressing it fast enough. Am I not pressing it fast enough? I'm sure it's up. There we go. <sighs> bro, I'm sh let me see how it is on here, bro. I'm sure it's up. You got press. Maybe I'm not pressing it fast enough. I don't know where the tackle is. I'm not saying he's 50 50 is great, I'm just telling you what he has. You done? I can't even see the, the, the Valtudo stuff from here. Maybe I'm getting blind, bro. Ready position. There we go. Okay, so that's what you do. So from ready position... No, it's not that. Oh, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. You have to hold. Sorry, my bad. That's why I was getting it wrong. But I'm still... I'm, that's what I was trying to do. Hold on. Oh, is it tap? I'm sure it's tap. There we go. I don't have that shit on. What? I don't know what's going on. There we go. Okay. So, with me, I'm not going to lie. The way how I do it and get it out is by tapping it. But I tap it more than once for it to do it.
and you can only do it at the start. Bow like that. I wouldn't. Maybe you could do something like. People are probably thinking, well, why would you use this? Maybe you could do something like bam, like that, or. It's pretty good to use sometimes. I don't really use it often in my matches. Just because I can't block in Valtudo. Before in Tag 2, it was good to use because you could block in Valtudo. In this, you can't block. So it's like, there's not really much use of it. And last but not least, the last thing you could do in Valtudo is he's got. It gives you access to throws. So maybe you could do something like. 1, 2, and 2. And bear in mind, like I'm going to show you. To access Valtudo is my L2 on my PS4 pad. So when you hold Valtudo, when you press uh, 3 plus 4, you can hold it and then press 1. That's all you have to do. And that access to throws. Same thing again. Look, I hold it, press 2. Access to throws. That's your shortcut of doing the Valtudo stuff. The Valtudo throws from Valtudo stunts. Just press 1 button. There we go. You just, bam. And I think you can get down back four. Yep, yeah, there we go. And that's 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 your get up set up if they get up straight away. That beats get up lows, get up mids, get ups. Regardless, if they stay on the floor, then you know you're probably gonna get a get up kick as your punishment. Uh, Kuni Ku Gaming, thank you very much for the host. I appreciate it, man. Yeah, and that's a, I think that's about it in terms of like stuff. Valtudo was. Like for raw tap Valtudo. If you want to transition into Valtudo, you could do uh, one two, which and press three plus four. Down one plus down one plus down. Down forward three one two. Like that. So I was doing the cancel there. And then you could do whilst not whilst I think side step two into Valtudo. This one's good because everyone go thinks assumes that you're gonna go for the lower. Everyone assumes you're going for the low. Everyone. Like it's hard to differentiate like where where he's where he's moving because he does the move and then he crouches. So it's like, raw. Is he gonna go for the low or not? Just do that. Or maybe you could do that into into that. Or maybe you could do into again. He's, he's very 50-50 dependent. He's not as good as how he used to be in Tag 2, I'll be honest. Because stuff like this don't do much damage anymore. On counter hit, doesn't do much damage. Um, yeah. I just don't know. I might have, um, All Time says that he might have found something interesting. All right, keep that thought. Let me end this video. Shout out to everyone that's watching this video. Hope you like it. Make sure, like, make sure you like, comment. If you've not got any problems with Valtudo stance cancelling as well, let me know. I'll obviously hit you up as well in the comment section down below. Remember to subscribe as well because your support means a lot. And it helps me grow as well. So thank you very much everyone that's tuned in. Take it easy. Peace.